Everybody's talking about Brock Turner, aka the Stanford Rapist. Poor baby 19 year old adult ass man Brock stripped an unconscious woman down and assaulted her behind a dumpster. Then when two Swedish men stopped him and asked him what he was doing, he tried to run away. Something that innocent people do all the time according to, hmm no one. And just yesterday it got out that Brock is only expected to serve three months in jail. So this case basically went from an already weak ass punishment for a serious violent crime to semester abroad at county y'all. People are making some pretty bullshit excuses for his super turd boy behavior. Let's debunk, shall we? Excuse number one. How do we know she didn't like it? How do we know she didn't ask for it? Well, dumb f she was f***ing unconscious. Unless she's handing out telepathic consent like she's Dr. Jean f***ing gray, which spoiler alert, she's not, there was no consent. Being unable to say no does not mean yes. Excuse number two, people make mistakes when they're young. It is an extreme insult to the youth of this country to insinuate that young people are too stupid to discern consensual sex from rape or that they're so governed by their hormones that they can't help but rape somebody. That is not it, boo. Rape is not caused by youth. It's caused by rapists. Excuse three, people love to talk about Brock's swimming. He swims real good, he was an Olympic contender. Do you think I give a f I am so sick of the bullshit American mindset. That athletic talent gives you a pass to be a rotting abscess of a human being. There are 300 million of you. Toss a few of them in a pool and you're bound to find someone who is not only a better swimmer than Brock, but also, oh, as an added bonus, maybe didn't rape somebody behind a dumpster. Oh, and let's talk about the letters of support from Tweedle D and Tweedle Dump aka Brock's dad and his cool musician friend. Brock's dad claims that his 20 minutes of action has ruined his life. He used to love buying his son snacks, you see, like ribeye steak. Now his son doesn't like steak. He raped a woman and now he can't enjoy steak. Oh, the humanity! You're nauseating, sir. You care so much for your son and yet you are completely unable to extend even an iota of empathy towards someone else's daughter. Why? Why is that? Is it because you're a slut-shaming piss demon from the seventh circle of hell? And then there's the musician pal, Leslie Rasmussen. She said it's unfair to base the next 10 plus years of Brock's life on the decision of a girl who doesn't remember anything but the amount she drank. You know what? You're right. That's really not fair. How about we base it on Brock's decision to f***ing rape someone instead? She also insinuates that this was classified as a rape because of political correctness, except Calling a rape a rape is just regular correctness? That's just how the English language works? This case is not about alcohol, it's about rape culture. It's about predatory rapists feeling entitled to somebody else's body for an assortment of bullshit excuse filled reasons that do not pass fucking muster. We as a civilization need to have a serious conversation about consent and about how nobody's asking for it unless they actually ask for it. No excuses, no ifs, ands, or buts. We need to get serious about eradicating rape. Let's make rape so unfathomable, so criminal that the next time two Swedes have to rescue an American woman, it's because she's a tourist eating her safran's bull or too close to a fjord. If you like this video, please share it with a friend and click subscribe. I make a new video every single week. You can also find me on social media down below and there's another video in the bottom left hand corner of your screen if you want to watch another rant right now. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.